Sandra Villamuel Abrego and you're watching another episode of ABA Wednesday. A few months ago I made a video called How to Live the Life of Your Dreams. And the other day I was thinking, how about twisting that a little bit and making actually a video that's the opposite to that. So a video that would be why you are not living the life of your dreams. I think that there's so many people out there who are not reaching their full potential. So today's video is going to be called The Reasons Why You Are Not living the life of your dreams. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you and everyone who's watching all of the reasons why you are still not living the life of your dreams and why you still haven't reached your full potential. So let's begin. Reason number one is you are distracted. You are distracted by all of the little things that don't matter. There's so many people out there who have so much potential and who want to live the life of their dreams but are so distracted by the little things like, you know, the little drama between you and your friends. Uh, talking behind this other girl's back, your relationship that hasn't been working for 10 years but you're still trying to make it work, uh, your job that uh, you hate but you're always complaining about how you hate it, whatever it is, you are distracted and you're not focused on what really matters which is to live the life of your dreams. That's reason number one. Reason number two, and this is a very popular one, is that you are unclear about what you want. You don't even know what you want. You have so many ideas, so many plans. If plan A doesn't work, I'm gonna go to plan B and then C and then Z. You have so many things going on that you are very, very unclear about the future vision of what it is that you want. So if you are unclear about what you want and you don't know what you want, well, it's impossible for you to get what you want. So that's reason number two. Reason number three, and this is a very, very important one, one that a lot of people forget to think about. It's that you are only thinking about yourself and you're not thinking about any kind of contribution that you can make to the world. There's so many people out there who their dream is to win a million dollars in the lottery so that they can buy nice cars and have a nice house and they don't think about anyone else besides themselves and maybe their close relatives. They're only thinking in a separate state of mind. They're only thinking of, okay, so I'm gonna get this and get that and they're not thinking, okay, so how am I going to contribute? How is me reaching and realizing my dreams is going to help the world become a better place. So if you really, really want to live a purposeful life and the life of your dreams, really, you have to think of how am I going to contribute? What kind of contribution am I going to make in the world? Reason number four. Reason number four is that your energy at the present moment is not in sync with the energy that you will feel once you reach your dreams. What do I mean by this? If right now you are living a life that you're really not happy with, you're always complaining, surrounded by people who are always negative, always gossiping about other people, and you, your dream is to be this amazing, uh, inspiring person who will change the world, guess what? You're not going to get there with this kind of energy. You have to understand that everything in the world is energy. And if you want to get to point B, but you are at point A, and while being at point A, you're always negative, always unhappy, you're not going to get to point B because point B, to become the person that you will be at point B, you will have to be a positive person, a line person. You're going to have to be a very different kind of person and your energy will be different. So change your energy if you want to reach your dreams. Reason number five, and this is so popular. I see so many people who do this. People who have so much ambition, they want to live the life of their dreams, they want to have a lot of money, have a nice house, they want to inspire people and change the world, but they don't want to put in the work. You know, they're sitting at home watching TV all the time, not doing nothing. Whenever they start to work on their plan for, let's say, their business, a friend calls, they say, oh, let's go out. Okay, whatever, I'll do it later. So they are not putting in the work. If right now you want to live the life of your dreams, you want to reach your fullest potential, you're going to have to put in the work and you're going to have to have a plan, a specific plan. Reason number six, and this once again, it's another popular one, is that you don't believe that you can't achieve it. You don't believe in yourself. You're not confident enough. So you have these big dreams, but once you really start to think about it and say, yeah, I'm going to be able to do it, I'm going to be able to get there, there's this little voice in the back of your head that says, come on, you're never going to be able to do it. Your parents weren't able to do it. You've always lived uh, this kind of life. You're never going to be able to get a better life. So there's always going to be this little voice in the back of your head. Now this is really, it goes back to your childhood and how you were raised and the kind of psychology that you created for yourself, but you're going to have to change that in order to get 
to the life that you want in order to live the life of your dreams. This is something that will take time, but you will be able to do it. And if you start right now, it's even better. Reason number seven, reason number seven, and this one, I see a lot of people that when they are going through this reason, and let's call it more phase, they give up. They give up on their dreams because they think, oh, it's never gonna happen, but they don't understand that they are in preparation mode, in the preparation phase. You are not ready yet to live the life of your dreams, and it's like that for everyone. We all go through the preparation phase. You have to understand that to receive blessings, greatness in your life, you have to be ready. If not, you know, think about all the people who became rich overnight, who became successful overnight, and look at their lives now. They are in and out of rehab, they lost all their money, they have to file for bankruptcy. There's so many successes gone wrong because they got the life that they were dreaming of, but too early, they weren't prepared yet. So you have to understand that you have to be prepared for whatever great thing will come into your life. Before graduating, you have to pass the test. So right now, if you are in the preparation mode, understand that this is where you are and enjoy, enjoy the ride, really. Reason number eight. Reason number eight is what I believe what makes the difference between someone who lives the life of their dreams and someone who lives a mediocre life. It's whether or not you think that your dreams and your goals are shoulds or are musts. See, there's a lot of people out there in the world who want a lot of things. I don't think that there's anyone in the world who says, oh, I, I like living a mediocre life. I don't care, I don't wanna live the life of my dreams. Who wants that? There's no one who says that. Everyone wants to have money, have a nice career, have great relationships. People want a lot of things. But there's a difference between wanting something kind of and making that want a must. Making that want instead of a, oh, I should start working on my new business. Oh, I should do this. I should do that in order to live the life of my dreams eventually. It's I must do that. It's like life or death thing. It's like I'm going to do this or else there's nothing else. I don't have a plan B. I don't have a plan C. This is it. I'm going to do it no matter what. I'm going to make it. That's really what makes the difference between people who succeed or people who don't. So if right now you say, I'm gonna live the life of my dreams, but you know, I, I, sh I should do this and I don't wanna put in the work and all of that. Well, guess what? You're not gonna be able to live really the life of your dreams. It must become a must. It has to be something like, I'm gonna do this no matter what. I don't care how much time it takes. I don't care the struggles that I will go through. I don't care the nights, the sleepless nights that I will go through. I'm gonna do this yes or yes. Reason number nine, and we're almost done, I promise. Reason number nine is, I think, kind of like reason number seven, is that you want too much, but too early. So you want to live the life of your dreams, you want to have it all, but you don't want to pass the test. You don't want to put in the work. You just want it now. You don't want to work towards it. You want success overnight. You want to be one of those people that they talk about having success overnight. But see, the thing is that overnight successes don't really happen they don't really exist people don't know the story behind it the years of preparation so you have to understand that it's okay for you to want a lot of things to want it all as they say but you have to understand that sometimes it can take time and you have to be patient so patience is very very important when it comes to living the life of your dreams and finally, the 10th reason why you are still not living the life of your dreams and your dreams are still not becoming true is because there is something better in store for you. Now, for a lot of people, this is hard to understand. It's like, I want this, I want this, I don't want something better, this is what I want. So if let's say your dream in life is to have this position in a big corporation that already exists and you're really, really trying for that position, but you have applied so many times, they still don't wanna take you, that's your dream, right? But who knows, maybe the real big dream that you should be dreaming is to own your own company and then to become a big competitor to that company and to actually become better than they are and to be you the owner instead of being just a manager there, you understand? So you have to understand that if yes, you are dreaming a dream and you really want it, if it's still not becoming true, maybe it's because there is something better in store for you and there's greater things, there's a bigger dream that is being dreamed for your life and for yourself. So I hope that this video helped you to understand why your dreams are not becoming true. There's a lot of people who ask that question to themselves really and it's completely normal. Just be patient and just take a look at all of the different 10 reasons. And if you see that maybe there's one of the reasons that is blocking you right now, well, take the time to really eliminate 
that reason. If you like the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with all of your friends. You can also leave a comment down below. Let us know what is the reason why you are not living the life of your dreams yet. And also, of course, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single Wednesday. You can also go on my website, alexandravilahuel.com, and you can register to my email list to receive emails from me every single week. My name is Alexandra Villahuel-Abrego, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye-bye.